Your headshot is your most important marketing tool as an actor. Now I've seen actors make all kinds of mistakes when it comes to their headshots, but today we're gonna to talk about three headshot mistakes that have nothing to do with the actual photo. These are three things that if you're guilty of them, you can correct them right now without having to get new headshots taken. What's up my fellow actors? Welcome to the Acting Career Center, here to help you learn the skills you need to break into the film and television industry. My name is Kurt Yu, super happy to be spending some time with you today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel to get more videos on acting, auditioning, and career advice every week. Also, if you're interested in learning about my audition process that has helped me book over 50 movies and television shows, then I've created a free audition cheat sheet that you can download at actingcareercenter.com. The link is in the description below. All right, let's talk about headshots. We all know that an actor's headshot is very important and it's your first impression to anyone in the industry. Now because of that, we want to make sure our headshot is as professional as possible and that we're not making any mistakes that make us look like amateurs. Today I want to share with you three headshot mistakes that have nothing to do with the actual photo and they are things that you can correct right now without having to get new headshots taken. Mistake number one, not naming the file on your computer. Digital headshots are used much more often than printed headshots these days, so it's important that we pay attention to detail when it comes to our digital headshot, specifically to the name of the file. Let's say I'm a casting director or an agent or anybody else in the industry, and I ask you to email me your headshot. Well, if you send me a file that's named img40557.jpg, well, that doesn't tell me anything. That doesn't mean anything. That's the name of the file that you got back from the photographer. You need to change the name of that file and make sure you don't change it to something that's just headshot.jpg because that still doesn't tell me anything. If I download that to my computer and I see a file named headshot.jpg, I don't know whose headshot that is. So it's important that we rename the file on our computer with our first and last name. I like to name my headshot first name, last name, dash headshot, dot JPEG. That way, anybody that I send it to, if they download it to their computer, anytime they look at that file name, they know exactly who it belongs to. By the way, this also applies to your digital resume. Make sure that your resume is not named something like resume.pdf. Just like your digital headshot, we need to make sure the name of the file has our first and last name in it. So. Check your computer right now, make sure your headshot and your resume both have your first and last name in the name of the file. Mistake number two, not printing on eight by 10 photo paper. Now let's talk about our physical headshots. The industry standard is to print our headshots on eight by 10 photo paper. This is different from regular printer paper, which is eight and a half by 11. As you can see, the headshot paper is smaller. It is very important to print our headshots on the correct size paper. If we don't, our headshots are literally going to stick out from the pile like a sore thumb. And this is going to make us look like we don't know what we're doing. It's going to make us look like amateurs. Remember that the most important thing to convey to uh, agents and casting directors is our professionalism. That's because this is an industry that's built on relationships that are built on trust. Agents and casting directors need to know that they can trust you to go onto a multi-million dollar movie set and know what you're doing and be a professional. If we make even little mistakes like printing our headshots on the wrong size paper, it conveys the message that we don't know what we're doing, that, that we are amateurs. So this may seem like a small detail, it may seem trivial, but in an industry that is as competitive as ours is, these small details make a huge difference. So if you have headshots that are printed on the wrong size paper, then tomorrow or the next day, go to the printers and make sure to get those reprinted on eight by 10 paper. Mistake number three, forgetting to bring headshots to auditions. Always, always, always bring a headshot to your audition. 
Even if they say they don't need it, what's the harm in bringing it anyway? Get in the habit of always bringing a headshot to your audition. And look, I get it. We're human, we make mistakes, and sometimes we forget. So how can we guarantee that we will never forget a headshot when we go to an audition? Well, we can keep a folder of headshots in our cars at all times. You never know when you're gonna need it, and it can be a lifesaver. So grab a folder, put some headshots inside it, and go put it in your car. Now you have guaranteed that you will never be caught without a headshot at your auditions. Well, that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and make sure to go to actingcareercenter.com to download my free audition cheat sheet. Until next time, keep practicing, keep learning, and I hope to see you on set one day. I gotta go put this back in my car.